Danny Blythe, acupuncture points of the anterior neck. Remember this is for acupuncture students only. Um, as a review tool, um, please pause and read this. So the bony landmarks, the suprasternal notch and the hyoid bone, there they are. If you extend the neck, they're much easier to feel these structures, but be very careful when you're palpating them. So um, here's the hyoid bone at the top. Um, movable, the shield shaped thyroid cartilage. You can feel the flares at the upper third on the side of it, the square shaped cricoid cartilage, and then the tracheal rings down to the suprasternal notch and the clavicle. The Ren channel is on the midline. Ren tw uh, 23 is just above the hyoid bone in the mylohyoid muscle. Ren 22 is half a sun above the sternal notch. Stomach 9 is where the flare of the thyroid cartilage at its upper third comes out and it's just lateral to that flare. Stomach 11 is just above the clavicle between the two heads of the SCM and stomach 10 is midway between. They're all in the sternohyoid and sternothyroid, the strap muscles that you don't need to learn. To highlight the sternocloidomastoid SCM, to rotate and lift the head, you can see it quite clearly. Um, stomach 9 is on the anterior border of this head, the carotid artery I've marked in pink and it's, it's um, between that and the thyroid. Stomach 10 is anterior and stomach 11 is between the two heads of the SCM. Our next shape from stomach 9 on the anterior border of the SCM, large intestine 18 between the heads where they fuse and small intestine 16 at the posterior border of the SCM. And finally, large intestine 17 uh, is one sun below large intestine 18 on the posterior border of the SEM on the way to the midpoint of the clavicle at stomach 12. Small intestine 17 is at the angle of the jaw on the anterior border of the SEM in the digastric muscle. And finally, triple burner 17 tucked between the mastoid process and the mandible and just under the earlobe in a nice deep hollow triple burner 17. Thank you very much for watching.